The process of turning something from an idea to reality uh, is really kind of a, a pure moment of creation. Well, my name is Eric Meyer and I am a licensed architect and contractor here in uh, Morphosis in Los Angeles. I work on making ideas real at Morphosis. So at Morphosis we, we make models during all phases of the design and construction process. And for us, making models allows us to interrogate the project more intimately relative to design standards that we set for ourselves. So by making a study model, we are able to evaluate certain design decisions that have been made very quickly, which in turn feeds back into another model or, or a larger model, which then kind of drives the design process. Models are, are kind of universal. It spatializes the design in a way that you don't really understand with renderings. And the reason we make models is because they're still absolutely connected to the built environment and, and the spatial reality that we inhabit. Virtual reality and renderings are great tools for visualizing things very quickly, but they present ideas with a certain filter. Models are very unfiltered. You look at a model and you can understand the space and imagine yourself in the space, the quality of light. It presents itself as an honest kind of truth to the built environment. I hope that I can communicate how important models are for the design process at all phases of design, whether it's uh, coming up with an idea at the very beginning of a design process, all the way to your project is under construction and you need to communicate something clearly to the people that are building your project. You can use models in multiple different ways to help you achieve uh, your design and your, your creative ambitions with a particular project.